If you want to add a new pupil without importing them, here is how. On the left of the screen, click the Pupils tab. You will then be presented with a list of all pupils you have already added. Find the New Pupil button at the top. On this screen you can find the necessary fields for creating a new pupil. First name. Last name. Next you select a username. This is what they will use to log into the program. You do not need to enter the at symbol and your school identifier shown here. This is done automatically. Now enter a password. Here you enter a pupil's gender and date of birth. The pupil management screen can be reached by clicking next or the link on the left. In this area you can enrol the pupil in any products you have purchased individually or all of them. This row controls pupil permissions. This switch enables them to change their own colours. This switch gives them access to the lesson book, which means they can attempt any lesson at any time, although it will not record their progress. And this switch controls the pupil's ability to view their own progress and retake lessons that they have already completed. The group drop-down lets you quickly add that pupil to any group you have created already. These might be year groups or intervention classes. A pupil can belong to more than one group, and you remove them by clicking the cross button beside them. Once you are happy with it, click the Save Changes button in the bottom right. If you want to remove a pupil, select the Pupils tab. There are two ways of removing a pupil. This will delete their details and any progress they have made on the program. You can do it inside a pupil's details by clicking the Delete button in the bottom right corner. You will then be asked to confirm by typing delete and pressing enter. If you want to remove more than one pupil at once, tick the boxes beside the pupils. Then click on the with selected button and choose delete. You will then be asked to confirm by typing delete and pressing enter.